YouTube, what's up? Solid mic, man. Be a part of something bigger than yourself. Is that too much to ask? We're here, we're gonna talk about gym pet peeves, things I hate to see in the gym, things you hate to see in the gym. Leave the comments below. Me, Steve Bass, and Kyle, we're gonna tap in. And the number one I hate, hate to see is um, probably a chatty Kathy. And, and I know you guys are saying, well, Mike, that's quite hypocritical of you because you're talking to a camera right now in the middle of a gym. Well, yeah, mother bitch, I'm here to entertain and help you. But someone that only talks, you know those guys. Yeah. They're just always, they don't even got a sweat going, they ain't got a pump, they're just always doing one of these. And for some reason, the chatty Cathy's are always leaners. They can't just stand and have a conversation, they're always one of these. And it's on your bench. If you're benching right here, or Kyle's squatting right here, Kyle's squatting right here, it's always like this. And they prevent you from lifting. You've seen that. Yeah, yeah they block you. Yeah. They block you. They want your attention so bad. Or I know Kyle's trying to get some water, and the water's over here. The chatty Cathy's in the gym. Oh, I, I think, think they, they play psychological games. And they know that you don't want to talk. And they know where you got to go. Yeah. Like, you're squatting, and they're always like, I'm like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's fucking, I can see his, I can see your cotton mouth. Yeah. And, and they always are blocking. And then you're trying to, yeah, man, yeah, I, was, I did have a good day. Yeah, you want to, yeah, you want to go golf? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're, playing, they're playing man to man. They're playing man to man D. That was my number one. That's my number one pet peeve. Yeah, for sure. That's clean, dude. That's clean. I hate kids that have to lift with kilos. Oh, okay, okay. I respect specificity. I respect the strength endeavor of power lifting. But if you're not strong enough mentally or adaptable mentally, shout out my boy Russ Swole. Not that he needs my little shout out, but uh, Russ talked about the other day, someone said like, well, how do you train in like a commercial gym? Or like, what if you can't find the barbell? Like lift weights, man. Like y'all are so spoiled. Like they, okay, that, that's a gym pet peeve, swear. And it's a little niche, right? Cause it's about power lifters in specific, but like, bro, the strength gym, that has kilos is less than a decade old. That wasn't a thing. The strength gym that has matching pound plates is less than a decade old. That wasn't a thing. That doesn't have a bent bar wasn't a thing a decade ago. I, I squatted, I squatted five, pulled 550, and bench 315 on the shittiest commercial gym hexagon plates that everyone bitches about. And I know those aren't astronomical numbers, and I know I'm not like some world record power lifter, but like, you can get strong and not bitch about shit. That's like a basketball player, you know? Like, if there's a pickup game and the lights are a little off, or the rent, like, you can go play, man. If the competitions are go play, go get better. Like, you don't gotta bitch about every little factor. Another pet peeve on the niche side is people like talking about like, I, no, I, I need kilos. No, kilo is a measurement of weight. You may want calibrated plates, which often come in kilos, but a calibrated plate, I understand, right? If you grab a random steel plate, it may weigh 47, it may weigh 43, although it says 45, you find it calibrated, it says 45, it's gonna be 45. Um, here at Third Street, obviously we're lucky. Like we got these highly, highly crafted Avanco plates. I can't guarantee they're as calibrated as these, but they're pretty calibrated, right? They're not 30 years old and chipped and, and, and dipped in steel. Like they're, 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 they're manufactured to be quite accurate. But if you just tell me you need kilos. Huh? I don't need a gallon of milk. I only drink 128 ounces of milk. That's the only way to get jacked. So all I'm hearing is that Mike hates everyone from the EU. No, no. Because the oh. EU kids don't say I need kilos because even those plates are in kilos. No, because they're all, exactly. I know, but they don't say that. Yeah, so I hate kilos, that, no, hate no. I hate the people that say they want kilos and don't know what they're asking. That's like, that's like this kind of, like this is a stretch. That's like Kyle's like, I need a car. And then I bring him a car with no brakes and no engine. I hate that. Like you don't want just a car. You need a car 
that's me being a bitch. You need something to transport yourself. Yeah. yeah. So when you say you need kilos, you don't need kilos. What you want is something calibrated. You heard it here first. On the eve of July 4th, let's just say this is the third. What? It's the fucking seventh or something. Don't worry about that. <laughs> On the eve of July 4th, Mike is waving that American flag and saying, I hate the British. Sorry, dude. Some of us got to work out. say the same thing? Yes. Really? They would, yeah. They I'll say, be like, get the little piggies away from me. Whoa. They say, honey, honey, I've had a hard day. We rub my toesies? And you're not gonna rub her toesies? There's a difference between taking care of your woman's feet and being like, I want those in my mouth. <laughs> no, yeah, he's got yeah. nothing. He's got nothing. No, no, Look I do. Like, he's usually like snappy I don't know. like that. I don't know. I, I'm trying to think how to navigate this for YouTube TOS. This is what we're headed towards. I think you start just kind of... I think you, you know what, si this is the year Silent Mike needs to start letting go a little bit. No, I don't, no, it's not about letting go. No, like, start just fucking. So, like, I think, I, I don't Mike know. Mike is a foot guy. No, so, so, that's where we're headed. I don't know what it's like to be a foot guy. Like, a DM every girl and say, wow, show me them toesies. I don't know what that's like. That's next level, okay, that's but, a small percentage. I don't know, man, they seem loud on the internet. They seem loud. It might be the loud, like the, yeah, talking to minority or whatever the fuck. But I do think that if I'm in love, this is all hypothetical, but if I'm in love, breasts, eyes, personality, bank account, booty, all those things turn me on. But I don't think the foot's turning me off. If it's in the vicinity, it's probably getting it too. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's probably getting it too. <laughs> Mike's like, hey, you better keep them dogs away if you don't want them getting sucked off. What is it then, the size? You were just talking about your size guy. You're just, I am a size guy, and you're talking about little piggies. You, got you want a chick stuff. with the big old booty, but then you're bringing a little horn to the fight. A little what? A little horn. Are you still the whole internet I have a small penis? <laughs> you can't want. Too late, dude. I already told them that months yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. They already know. You want all these curves, and then you're bringing home a fucking thimble. Well, I can't have it all. You can't, you can't be this charming and be, it's impossible, it's unfound. You can't it's be this creative, this entertaining, this charming, this kind, this sensitive, empathetic man that I am, this provider, this protector, this primal soldier, and also be hung, unheard of. Another one, it is niche. Um, and I understand like getting ready for a competition, other sports, especially powerlifting, that's, that you can't control the environment, so some people may be walking around, but kind of like golf, like there's like, there's like rules of golf, right? Like each time your club hits the ball, that's a, a stroke, and you count your strokes to hold, that's the rules. Um, but then the, there's also etiquette, which are slightly different, right? Like the rules of powerlifting, hit depth, et cetera. But I think there's etiquette in a barbell or strength gym that if you see someone lifting heavy, one, be positive, cheer them on, and two, don't move or walk around in the peripherals or in front of them. Um, it can throw a lot of people off, it throws me off, whether it be balance or uh, even concentration. Uh, I just think that you want to help as many people as you can get better, and if you're taken away from that by your selfishness because you've got to grab your pre-workout or you're just not paying attention to your environment, I think that can solve a lot of issues outside of the gym too. Stop always thinking about your goddamn selves and start thinking about the people around you and how, how you act. And again, this is something small, minuscule, but how I act affects those around me. The energy I put out affects those around me. So how can we turn that up to a positive level rather than we're always looking in the mirror, always being so selfish, always being so self-conscious and always in here. And how, how do we bring that out and start worrying about others, man? We over me. So the number one world-renowned pet peeve or gym peeve is not re-racking your weights. Now that's inconvenient for many people, right? Because even if you're an 800 pound squatter, you're gonna start with the barbell or just the plate. So to do that, that's a little bit annoying, a little bit rude. Um, on machines, same idea. If you're using three plates, I'm still probably gonna warm up with a plate or a quarter, so that's rude. Um, but for a lot of barbells and different things, it may, over a long period, not in a day, but over a long period, uh, not be good for the equipment too. So let's do better, let's be better, let's stop looking inside, whether it's from a selfish, 
place. I don't always think that's the case, but we're so self-conscious that people are always just looking in here, you know? They, they're just stuck here. Start looking around the world a little bit, help each other out, man. Uh, again, be a part of the community, be a part of something bigger than yourself. Brand new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, 3SB.co if you want to cop the new hat. Fully customed out. Uh, appreciate you guys, man. Sound like everyone want to find me. Follow us on Discord. Come chat. I'm in there every day hanging out. Uh, we'll catch you soon.